Hey guys, so before this video started, I just wanted to say that there's so many things that can help your foundation be more successful, and I've linked them in the bottom bar. Go ahead and check them out. All right, you guys, we're gonna jump right into this tutorial with one of my favorite primers. This is actually Hydra Blur for Dermalogica, and I love the way this makes my skin look. Now, you're not gonna just take whatever products I use and duplicate. Make sure it's something that's gonna be good for your skin. Same goes for foundation. Like this foundation that I'm using on my face is a custom blend. I will have the foundations that I used in the bottom bar, but it's a custom blend. And I am absolutely loving the match. Okay, so basically how I do foundation is you'll see that I like to do majority of the coverage around the edge of my face, sides of my cheeks and forehead, and then in the center, I use a different color. I want you guys to take from this tutorial that you have to blend your foundation. You have to blend your foundation. I see so many tutorials where people are just like popping their foundation up there and they be center color. And that's why I make that face. Do not use your highlight color as your center color. They're two separate things, okay? I will have my makeup course link in the bottom bar. Check that out if you wanna learn more about that theory of mine. But we're blending out the center color and that's very, very important. Blend it out. Don't just draw it on your face the size that you want it. Draw a small shape and blend it out. I'm using a fluffy fan brush. That's absolutely perfect for this task. Like it really understands the assignment. It's tapered perfectly, it's shaped perfectly, and it's the perfect size. And I love it for addressing the center of my face because it blends well and it doesn't get makeup everywhere. Like right here, blending this highlight color out in my brow area with many other brushes would be really annoying but this brush is just perfect for that. And that's what you're gonna wanna do with your center color. You're gonna really wanna use it to bridge the depth of your face. So now I'm going in with a color correction pencil for around my mouth. Um, I like to color correct after I've done my foundation because it helps me control how much product I actually use. And it helps me to camouflage the darkness way better than using color correction first. Color correction also works great as a topical filler for hollows in your face. You see around my mouth, my nasal labial folds, in your under eye area, around your chin. That is the perfect area for a color corrector, depending on what shade, you guys gotta play with that. So right now I'm mixing two concealers. One is from Milk, one is from Lancome, and I'm creating a medium highlight tone. And I'm also gonna use that where I use those color correctors to give that area of my face even more volume. So now I'm just contouring my nose a little bit, and I'm going in and I'm creating a triangular shape to just slim the tip of my nose. I never really contour the bridge too much, really focus on the tip, lifting it and taking a couple of pounds off my face. I'm not really looking to change the shape of my nose, just look a little slimmer. So now we're going on to powder. I don't bake very often. I usually do this. This is what I call my soft set. And I like to do this in layers. The first layer is just to coat the face in a soft powder. And then after that, you can do your bronzer, you can do your contour, you can do blush or whatever the case may be. Or you can go in and pat a little bit more powder. Today, I kept it kind of moderate because I wanted my foundation to look really soft and natural after a little bit of the oil broke through and that's exactly what it looked like. So this powder that I'm using is actually a blend of warm saffron and illuminating banana from Dermablend. And right now I'm contouring with a little bit of Lancome. This is 500 in their uh, powder foundation. I'll have it linked below. And I'm using this just to give my face a little bit of framework. Cause I am gonna use my bronzer, um, bronzer number three, but this is just gonna help to sculpt the face lightly. 
So here we are. I'm using bronzer number three to just warm everything up, give a little bit of a glow, and further give my face some shape. These are my bronzers that I created by hand. They're available on thegodlyglow.com. We have four colors, so definitely make sure to go check those out. And you're just gonna really make sure to blend these out. They're very pigmented and start a little with a little and build. You can see how it absolutely beautifully contours the face. It even is gonna give my forehead a little bit of glow and shape. It does give glow, but it's not gonna take away that shape. It's not a highlighter. So now I'm going in with a highlighter, and this is actually a color from my eyeshadow palette called Pay Attention. I have an eyeshadow palette out. I'll have it linked below. This is a brown um, extra large pencil liner, also from thegodlyglow.com. And I'm just keeping it real simple with the lips. Just gonna line my lips and use a little bit of gloss. Gonna put on some lashes, also from thegodlyglow.com. And that's really it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is soft, this is sexy, this is beautiful. I didn't even show you guys a setting spray, but this face lasted all day. I hope you like it. Leave me a comment, let me know what your favorite part was, and I'll see you next time.